Okay, guys, now I have completed all of my double crochet. And if you counted correctly, you should have 36 all the way around here. Okay, so now at this point, you want to join into the top of that chain three. You don't want to finish because now you're, if you're changing color, this is where you want to do that. I am now going to add my yellow. So I'm going to pull through and through. I'm going to turn this over and tie this off. Sorry, I was out of the camera a bit. Okay. So now, and if you hear that annoying sound, that is my computer. My wonderful husband bought me a new computer, but I just have not had time to get everything switched out and over to it yet because this silly one is very aggravating. All right. So now what we're doing, so we've joined color. So now what we're going to do is do a chain three with this color. All right. So now in the same stitch, you are going to do See, chain three, double crochet in the same uh, stitch. So we're going to do a double crochet right into that same one that we just did, just like that. Then she wants us to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now you're going to skip over the next double crochet. So right here, you're going to skip that. Then in the next one, you are going to do two double crochet here. Okay. Two in the same stitch. And then in the next double crochet, you will also do two double crochet. So basically, you just did four double crochet, two back to back. Oh, my fingers are weird today. All right, so you see what I did? So we started with two here, chained four, you skipped one, and then in those two, you did two. So you're going to repeat that process. So you're going to chain four now, one, two, three, and four. Skip the next double crochet, and in the next one, you're going to do two double crochet, And in the next one, you're going to do two double crochet. Okay? And that's all it is for this round. So you'll chain four. And you'll just keep going around. So skip the next one. And then the next double crochet will get two double crochet. So one, two, then the next one gets two, so then that's going to be three and four. Okay? So you see the pattern? That's all there is to it. So then you'll chain four, and then you'll skip one, then the next one gets two doubles. And then the next one gets two doubles. Okay. So go ahead and finish that round. And I'll catch back up. All right. You. Now to finish up this row, I went ahead and chained my four right here. Now to finish up, you're going to skip this one here. And then in that last one, you see where we started off and we only had the two? Well, now you've got to finish that other side. So you're going to go into that very last stitch and you're only going to put two there. Your two double crochet. And that's going to finish the other half of that one up. Okay? And then what you're just going to do is you're going to do a slip stitch in the top of that chain three one. And then that's going to finish that up for you. Okay? So that just kind of join that. Okay, so now, uh, let's see what we got going on. You should have 12 chain four spaces around. 
do not fasten off here. So now you're going to do row 5 and you're going to have your same color. So row 5 is you're going to make 8 double crochets in each chain 4 space. So I'm going to go now into this chain 4 space. Okay. So you're just going to immediately wrap and do a double crochet here. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let me grab my yarn here before it knocks my camera off. Okay, 7, and 8. Okay, so now what she's asking you to do is in between, not in between here, the stitches themselves, but in between the clusters, one cluster, two cluster, you're going to go right in between here and you're going to do a slip stitch. Okay, and then you're going to jump over to the next chain four space and immediately go into doing eight more double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Go in between your clusters and not in the stitch, but in between the actual um, space, okay? And do a slip stitch. And then you're going to start your eight again. So one, two, three, four. five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then once again you'll do your slip stitch in between. And then, you know, that's pretty much what, what you're going to have once you finish. You know, you're just going to finish this all the way around. And I'm going to finish this off camera. And once I come back to the very end and finish it, I'll show you how to join and finish this beauty up. Hey guys, I'm back. So now what you're going to do instead of doing the slip stitch here in between, I think what we're doing here is we're just going to slip stitch in that uh, beginning stitch. And we're just going to finish that off. Okay. And now that is it for the little, or the big, look at my hand compared to that uh, flower that Miss Robin makes her valances out of for her window. So now you just fasten off and you weave in your ends here. And you have one flower. So it's going to take several to do your window project. And, and I will finish that in a little while. So this is what it's going to look like. You can do them in many different colors as she did. And once you check out her site, uh, you will see what she did with that. So again, this one here is in cotton. And this one I did in just regular acrylic yarn. And you can also find her half flower pattern there. Um, so it, either way you do it, they're all very beautiful, and I enjoyed doing them. And there's not a whole lot of difference in size in these either, based on if you do it in cotton or acrylic. Um, but uh, I had fun doing this, Robin, and I thank you very much for allowing me to teach this. Um, and my followers and my friends, and especially my group ladies, are going to be so happy about this they've been waiting for a couple weeks for this project um 
So this is Miss Robin Sanchez's uh, uh, pattern. Um, I will link it down in the description box down below this video. Um, you will be able to uh, go straight to that link and follow her pattern yourself. Again, it's on her blogger at Once Upon a Pink Moon. Okay, and um, that's pretty much it. It was a very simple pattern to follow. And again, based on your colors, and you can do, you can do wonderful things with this pattern. Um, and she shows you, I believe, also how to incorporate them, uh, how to connect them, different things. So definitely check out her blog. And uh, till next video, guys. Thank you, Miss Robin, and happy hooking.